Greetings, and welcome back to my garage. Got some good news and bad news to share with you today. Um, you may have heard through email or um, on the internet, we will be getting a new principal next year. So Mrs. Lyon, who's been your principal probably for the bulk of your time at Suquamish Elementary. She's been there three years. You guys are fourth graders. Uh, some of you might remember Mrs. Murray from when you were really young, but Mrs. Lyon has been your principal. Um, she is taking a job at the district office, which means um, she'll be, she won't be in charge of one school. Now she'll kind of have control over a couple of schools and the kind of things that we do. So uh, congratulations to her. A little sad for us to be, to be losing Mrs. Lyon. Um, and the good news is we're going to meet somebody new. So we have a new principal that's going to start with us in September. Um, so uh, a lot of changes. There's been a lot of changes the past couple months. Um, remember when like brown water at school was a big deal? I would, I would really love to be back at school dealing with brown water right now. So, um, so I'll have a new principal starting in September with us. In fact, that new principal, Mr. Bliss is his name. He's going to be starting July 1st. So if you go to Packet Pickup, you might even catch a glimpse of him on Monday uh, as he starts to kind of get used to the school and gets used to the staff and, and some of the kids. It's going to be tricky for him because he can't really meet with people. He can't give handshakes and hugs and stuff like that. So he's going to have to do a lot of his stuff over the Internet and through email and communications. Uh, so that's kind of tricky. So that's where you guys come in as fourth graders this year. When you come back to school next year, you guys are going to be the oldest ones in the school. You guys will be the school leaders. And so I thought it might be kind of nice if you helped me out with a small project. Um, I want to help us get to know Mr. Bliss a little bit better. And I want Mr. Bliss to get to know us a little bit better. So here's my idea. Um, I'm going to have fourth graders, not third and second and first and stuff, because there's a lot of kids in the school. So we can keep it to this class. Um, uh, and if you're watching from Mrs. Taylor, Miss Fairchild, or Miss uh, Jacobson's class, uh, that's fine too, fourth graders. I want you to submit some questions for Mr. Bliss, the new principal. Questions you might have. Are we going to have different stuff in the playground? Are we going to have grass in the playground? What's lunch going to look like? Do you have any kids? Those kind of, it could be personal questions, could be questions about school. Um, and so what I'd like you to do is to video yourself asking that question. And when I say video yourself, I don't mean you videoing yourself. Here's what I mean. If you plan to use your phone to do this video, I want to make sure two things happen. One, I need your phone in landscape mode when you film it. Not up and down in portrait mode, tall and skinny. I need it landscape because when you put it on a computer screen, it stretches out. If you do it like this, there's just one strip in the middle. So have it filmed this way. And also when you've got your filming, don't film it like a selfie because most phones have a couple of cameras, one on the front here, and most phones have at least one or two or sometimes three cameras on the back. The cameras on the back are way better than the cameras on the front. We're dealing in megapixels here. So you have way better quality of a picture on this side than you would on this side. So that means you need to have someone else hold the camera. And so what I'm hoping for is someone else holds the camera and then you say something as simple like, hi, I want to know if you're going to have new things on the playground. That's it, right? So a small clip, video clip. And the last thing to do is once it's on the phone, uh, the question is how to get it off the phone and get it to Mr. Kuntz. Email is the way to go. Uh, so most people's phones, most people's parents' phones, uh, you can email right from the phone. Um, if you try to send it over like a text message or something like that, then to get that big of a file through data lines, um, they take a lot of stuff out of it. And so the quality goes way down. It gets pixelated and grainy and you can't hear what's going on. So <clears throat> to keep it in good form, it needs to be emailed to me. And um, my email is coming right across the screen here, jkuntz at nkschools.org. So um, have a wonderful weekend. I'll talk to my class on Monday about Mount St. Helens. Until then, hi too.